Hi friends, today we are going to see that what are the effect of truncation a digital number okay and how it affects our DSP design. So we are going to see today what are the effects of truncation. Now we are going to truncate a number okay so I'm going to truncate a number and we are going to observe that what will be its effect if I'm truncating a number to fit in a given resistor uh, bank. Let's say, so this effect of truncation is actually been uh, segregated or is been observed or studied uh, in uh, with respect to the magnitude and sign of the number. For example, I we normally divide the effect into two subcategories. Let's say I will observe the effect of truncation on positive numbers and I will observe the truncation effect on negative numbers separately. Okay. In the negative number, we will also have the effect divided into three parts. One we called as uh, one we call it as for sign and magnitude depending upon the format of the negative number second one is the ones complement and third one is the twos complement so depending on which type of format i'm using for representation of a number depending on that the truncation will provide a different type of error okay and positive is only one representation to be very clear and honest we will always use fractional numbers and we will also assume uh, first I've assumed that there will all be, always be fraction okay with let's say b plus 1 bits representation okay they will always be b plus 1 there will be b plus 1 bit representation and we are using fractions and uh, the numbers that we are considering is fixed point numbers. So these are the two additional cons uh, assumptions I'm making before uh, proceeding any further. We will be analyzing the effect of truncation on two types of numbers. One are positive and one are negative. In the negative itself, I will also divide it uh, depending on the uh, type of format that we are using to represent a negative number the error will change and the numbers that we are considering should be always fractional and they will all be fixed point numbers it does not mean that we are not going to see what is happening to floating point there will be some other analysis method for floating point also now let us first understand what do you mean by b plus one bit representation now as you as i have mentioned that we will be using a fractional number the fractional number will always be denoted like this 0 0.101100 so this is my one bit which is to the left of the decimal or sorry binary point and there will be rest b digits or b bits on the right side of the uh, binary point now here in this case we have 2 raised to minus 1, 2 raised to minus 2, 2 raised to minus 3, 2 raised to minus 4, 2 raised to minus 5 and 2 raised to minus 6. So here my b is minus 6 or we can say 6. Okay. So how many bit representation is this? 6 plus 1, 7 bit representation it is. Do not consider it as minus 6 plus 1 that is 5 bit representation. It is not so. We have to consider the magnitude of the number so we will consider always plus 6 so b over here is plus 6 so i have minus uh, minus uh, sorry 1 plus 6 that are total 7 bits so i will always use this uh, representation for a fixed point and this point will lie over here only there will be only one lsb okay so on uh, the lhs of the binary point and there will be uh, b bits on the rhs of the binary point okay that what do you mean by b plus one bit representation now let us say that i am assuming that there there are there is a b1 number of bits 
okay there are b1 number of beds uh, to the right of okay uh, binary point okay this is when before truncation so i'm not truncated so before truncation i have a total number of bits uh, b1 number of bits uh, to the right of the uh, decimal point that means there will be one bit which is left of the decimal point so in in all there are b1 plus 1 uh, b1 plus 1 number of bits available for a given number okay now we say that i am truncating that to let's say b bits so b is the number of bits again to the right after truncation so we have segregated using two uh, uh, notions one is b1 which is before truncation and b is after truncation of course in truncation what we are going to do we are going to restrict ourselves and neglect the numbers that means the number b will be always lesser as compared to b1 so b will be less than b1 surely it will happen this will be always present okay therefore what will be the magnitude of an error now the new number i received is b actual number was b1 okay uh, bits are b1 and uh, new bits are b okay with b1 bits let's say i have i i'll write like this with b1 bits okay we have a number which is called as x okay so value of that number let's say x and with b bits the new modified number that i get is we called as q of x we will come to this point that what is this q of x okay in some other section but here you consider that the new number is called as q of x okay uh, q is an operator uh, here q is a truncation operator operated on x that's why it is written as q of x will be a new number okay so with b1 bits we have x as a number with b bits i have q of x as a number so what will be the error okay we will calculate that how much is the error that has occurred if i truncate b1 bit of a uh, number so the error we write it as e of t t stands for truncation the error e of t will be nothing but the new number q of x minus x of course okay the error will be the new number q of x minus x okay where q of x is the truncated number and x is a uh, non truncated number correct so now we have q of x and x if we subtract them we are going to get the uh, an error correct let us assume a number because it is total very much theory let us consider for the first case i'll consider for positive numbers okay let us consider for a positive number and without talking too much of theory let us go deep into and solve one small numbers okay let us deal with numbers so that you will understand it let us take for example i take a number which is a uh, 0.625 which resembles 5 by 8 okay and its binary point representation is 0. Point, okay 1 0 1 0 0 now only for your reference just to you, for you to recall this is 2 raised to minus 1 which means 1 by 2 okay this is 2 raised to minus 2 now in this case it will be 0 this will be 2 raised to minus 4 okay so sorry 3 uh, 3 which will be 1 by 8 then here it will be 2 raised to minus 4 which is in this case is 0 which is 2 raised to minus 5 again it is Zero. Now I need to add them all. Okay. So what is the addition? Well, limit is the addition limit is one by two plus one by eight 
so i'll have 8 in the denominator here it will be 4 plus 1 that will be 5 by 8 so 5 by 8 decimal representation is 0 0.10100 therefore we can say that now uh, let us now this is been represented in okay 5 bits and let us bring down to comparatively let's say 3 bits okay let us get to 3 bits so when I will truncate this to 3 bits okay what is going to happen I'm going to remove okay I'm, I'm going to remove this 2 bits I'm going to remove this 2 bits okay now what bits I'm removing I'm removing 0 0 now this is let's say b1 so b1 is the original number which is denoted using 5 bits okay actually b1 is 5 and x is comprised of 6 bits okay I'm not considering this so b1 is 5 bits this is my new number uh, sorry this is my original number x now let's take that I am truncating it to let's say b equals to 3 bits so I will have now 0 point first bit second bit third bit that's all I don't have any more register spaces to keep the rest of the zeros so now this becomes okay this I will neglect because it is any which way 0 so I'll write here directly 2 raised to minus 1 which is 1 by 2 2 raised to minus 2 which is 0 and 2 raised to minus 3 which is 1 by 8 okay so this will also resemble 5 by 8 okay so now with 3 bits okay neglecting 2 bits truncating 2 bits <coughs> and representing a number with uh, 3 bits this new number that I am getting is Q of X okay so what will be the error the error E of T which is Q of X minus X will be 5 by 8 minus 5 by 8 so which is equal to 0 agreed so if I am removing okay all zeros from the uh, uh, from the right hand side in truncation then what will be the effect on the number there will be no effect on the number because the removed numbers are all zeros okay let's take another number and consider that what will happen if I remove maximum ones okay so let's say that I have 0 0.10 1 okay and let's say 1 1 fine so this number will be now 1 by 2 plus this is 0 so I'll neglect it this will be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 32 so I'll keep 32 down so this will be 32 this will be uh, 2 16s are 32 8 2s are uh, sorry 8 uh, 4s are 32 16 2s are 32 plus 1 so that will be 20 plus 2 22 22 plus 1 is 21 by 32 so my new number this is my x okay this is this is my x that is a number given to me okay again what is b1 over here b1 is over here is 5 bits correct so i have b1 which is 5 bits okay and now i'm going to truncate the 2 bits so now i don't have this 2 bits so what i'm removing i'm removing 1 1 which is a major contributor isn't it 0 is a minor contributor in the binary representation 1 1 is a major contributor so now my b which is equal to 3 bits okay will be represented as 0 0.101 correct so here now it is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 8 which is 5 by 8 correct now 5 by 8 is my what this is my q of x correct so this is my q of x this is my x and now i have to find uh, 
Now I have to find what is the error between these two numbers. As you can see, there's a huge error. Okay. So I will find E of T, which is equal to 5 by 8 minus 21 by 32. Okay. So then you can do cross multiplication and you can subtract and you can find that the error will be maximum. Okay. For example, this will be cross multiplied and this will be zero. Okay. I'll write it like this zero. Then uh, uh, 15 is 16 minus eight ones are eight, eight twos are 16 divided by, uh, am, I, am I correct in multiplying? It's like five twos are 10. So zero, uh, one carry, three fives are 15 and one 16, it's correct, minus, and here it will be eight uh, twos are 16, one carry, eight threes are 24, and that is 256. So then I will get a number of eight by 256 is the error, isn't it? But minus, why? Because as we can see that in truncation, the magnitude of the number decreases. The magnitude of the number decreases. So Q of X will always be less than X for positive number. So I can justify like this for positive number Q of X will always be less than X. Therefore, okay, E of T will be will be either negative or e of t will be what zero it cannot be positive okay zero when removed numbers okay when you are truncating and eliminating the numbers which are all zeros okay then it will not put any effect on the number that's why the e of t will go to zero and if the number uh, of q of x or if you are removing maximum number of ones then the number will be maximum negative okay your error will be maximum negative so the limits on because we know that negatives are less than zero then the upper bound to the error will be zero then i will have the lower bound on error and then the lower bound on the error will be minus because always the error will be negative 2 raised to minus b minus 2 raised to minus b1 okay uh, if you will calculate in our case it is 2 raised to minus 3 minus 2 raised to minus 5 okay negative this number will always be positive why because 2 raised to minus 3 is 1 by 8 whereas 2 raised to minus 5 is 1 by 32 and 1 by 32 will be a smaller number as compared to 1 by 8 that's why this number this subtraction will be positive and the error that we will get is negative okay so the minimum uh, value of the error will be minus 2 raised to minus b minus 2 raised to minus b1 and the maximum will be zero because this number is negative so this is the effect of truncation on a positive number so in this we have seen that what do you mean by truncation and how we are segregating the truncation effect on various types of numbers and their formats and we have seen that what happens if i truncate a positive number what type of error is introduced so we have quantified the error for a fixed point fractional number i hope you have understood uh, what do you what uh, this topic meant to be thank you